Hey YouTube, so in today's episode, I want to share a couple knives with you. This is my general purpose knife. It is a Ontario Rat One uh, D2 steel knife. I've had it for over a year now. I've abused it. I've used it every day. You can see the the marks here. It shows you that I've been abusing it. No nonsense. And so far, it's held up, held up very nicely. I decided to go up a, a notch and ordered me another one. But guess what? This time, this new knife, it's the same model, but with a new steel blade. And this one comes in blaze orange or reddish orange. So you can see here, it's an identical knife. Everything is the same except for the blade material. These knives are made in Taiwan. And what's special about this one is that it is a S35VN model. Now I've used my knife for a lot of purpose, from cutting cardboard to preparing uh, meat to fill dressing a deer. So I have another brand uh, of knife called Spiderco, the Spiderco Resilience. And that thing comes with uh, S35 VN steel as well. So this past hunting season, I took this knife and I took the Spiderco S35 VN and I shot a, I shot a, a couple of deers with it, and I was using this knife originally to fill dress the deer, but I noticed that even though this is D2, I felt that the, the steel, the edge holding quality of it didn't last very long. So I decided to put this away, and I decided to use my Spyderco S35VN and that that knife was awesome so here I am I'm um, I'm checking out eBay and guess what this thing comes in s35 VN as well so I decided yeah let's get this one too for my knife collection and this one if it's been hardened just like my spider coal should be able to process uh, Fill dress deer just like my spider coal. Now this one is about a hundred bucks. This one is way below a hundred bucks. Now I'll be using this one for purpose, purposeful situations only, like uh, fill dressing and uh, skinning and uh, deboning and all of the, all of those good things. Now the reason why I decided to get this one is because it is not as a, not that expensive, but it's not something that you know to sing about. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks. So, but for everyday purpose, you can't go wrong with this knife right here uh, that comes in D2. You can see there's a lot of scratch and marring on there. Uh, I've abused it every chance that I have, and it's uh, it's. It's taking care of me very well. The only thing that I don't like about this knife, okay, is the clip here. Uh, they, they, apparently this is just painted on black uh, paint. But anyway, this thing as well, this is just powder coated black paint. And so is this. And in the long run, that's how this thing looks like, okay. This thing will look just like that. And that's the only thing that I don't like about uh, these knives is that they eventually the black powder coated paint will eventually wear off and leaves you something like this Other than that, I wish they would make this out of stainless steel Make it shiny from the start and you don't have to worry about it looking like this so Both knives one in D2 steel, which is a pretty good steel anyway, and the other in S35VN. If you've ever used S35VN, it's 
it's like day and night from the D2 steel. It's a far more advanced steel. Both of these steels can still rust, but this one will beat the D2 steel on edge retention and toughness. Uh, let me let me tell you about the scales. So the scales here, I forgot the, the material, but it's plasticky. You can see here, it's it's very worn, okay, but it's still uh, it won't slip on you when when you have blood uh, uh, running down the scales. It's it still hold. You're still able to hold uh, and grip the scales. Here, I notice that this is a different kind of uh, scales. It's rougher in texture and it feels different from this. So I haven't done any research as to what type of scales or material this is, but this is obvi obviously a rougher texture. The design is different as well. Here, I'll show you. There, that's the design. And this here is the design here. Feeling these two scales, you know that they're different. They're made differently, and different uh, material. And this is way rougher, not because it's uh, not because it's newer, but the the material is rougher. This one feels like plastic, but it's not really plastic. It's a it's a type of plastic but anyway I really like these two knives so for everyday purposes I'm gonna carry this for hunting purposes I'm gonna carry this let me know what your thoughts are guys